Hello everyone, my name is Ajay and in this video we will see how we can install our subdomain module on our Worksuit application. So let's get started. So this is our dashboard of Worksuit SaaS application. In this video we will take the demo directly on Plesk server and cPanel. So this Worksuit app SaaS application is installed on Plex server. So here is the Plex server. So we'll jump to the settings part and here in the module setting here is the install button of module so here is the documentation of mod, uh, subdomain module installation so it says so you you can refer this documentation the first step the very important and the first step is installing wildcard subdomain on your server what does that mean let me show you so here we only have a one domain which is worksuit.info so before installing the subdomain module we have to configure our server to have wildcard subdomain so let me enter the wildcard subdomain first so for that we will use star and star worksuit.info star worksuit.info means all the subdomains are now pointed to this directory where our main application is installed. Let me open that in the separate tab so I can show you where the this application is pointed. So worksuit info where our main application is installed is pointed to the document root of that application is httpd docs public. So we will copy this path and paste to the wildcard subdomain. While this is the wildcard subdomain means all the subdomains are pointed here means if we open any random subdomain it will open the worksuit SaaS application so let me click ok remember we have not yet touched our subdomain module so subdomain module installation is the last step we'll wait for some time so let's try to first open the application this is the application and let me open some random subdomain say random subdomain and see what we get so as you can see when i open any random subdomain we are able to see our worksuit application means wildcard subdomain is working fine let me open another subdomain this error we are getting is due to the SSL. We need to install wildcard SSL also on our server to make the SSL work. Currently, I have a wildcard SSL is not working, so we'll go without SSL. And we can see uh, app.worksuit also showing the worksuit SaaS application. So at this point, wildcard subdomain is configured and installed properly. If you are not getting the worksuit SaaS application, that do not install the subdomain module at all our subdomain module do not create subdomain i repeat our subdomain module do not create subdomains it only shows the data depending on the subdomain it is opened hope that is clear to you so now all these subdomains and let me open another random subdomain it should also show the worksuit saas application so as you can see it is also showing the worksuit saas application so the next step now is installing the subdomain module we'll go to settings module setting and then install and update module we'll click drop files here and go to select the subdomain modules and upload it the file is uploaded we'll click on install and the module is installed now we have to activate the module just wait for a few seconds so the modules gets activated now as you can see the module is activated here and let's now so here you can see the message please note down this is going to be the new super admin login url so uh, the, where super dash admin dash you login in the url so let's go back to the subdomains that was showing the worksuit sas and reload the page so this is showing the company does not exist which is correct let me open this also it is also showing company does not exist which is also correct so let's go 
go back to the companies menu and here we can see we have a separate input field for this subdomain which is this demo.worksuit.biz which is also mentioned here let me open this uh, this demo company has a subdomain demo.worksuit let me open this and see what we are getting so here as you can see we are getting the login page of demo company let me log in and change the logo so you can see the difference so i am going to change the logo same with another logo and this so let me save and log out so you can see this is the login page of demo company the first company that is there and the logo and the company name is different and this is the super admin panel which is and the logo of super admin panel is different so it, now the subdomain module is properly configured on our plus server one more thing i would like to highlight here suppose our application i we want our main application which is this one to be installed on subdomain or not on the main domain so how we can do this we'll simply go to and the name of that subdomain says it is app.worksuit.biz so suppose our main application is installed on app.worksuit.info so to show the front website on this subdomain what we will do is we'll go to the open the file section and go to open the .env file and in the main application subdomain which is this one we'll enter sub uh, main application subdomain and click save and resume and let's reload this page so now the, our app.worksuit.info is our main subdomain where the main, uh, whole application is running and all other subdomains are the uh, subdomains of the application so this was the demo it's working fine so now let's jump to the demo of how we can do the same thing on the c panel so for the c panel and so this is the worksuit sas installed on c panel so we will follow the same step we will first go to the c panel then select the domains and here we will enter the wildcard subdomain for that the domain is restroflow.in in my case and here i will enter dot restroflow.in and here let's go back to file manager or domains from here so as we can see the main application restroflow.in the document root is public html so we will keep public html same for the wildcard subdomains so which is already there and we'll keep that as such so we'll cl click save and we are good to go now we will cross check but here i would suggest uh, to remove public from the url we will enter the public at the end and this will remove public from the url you might have used this approach for removing public in the main application that is main domain or you might have used the dot access method but if we are getting the option of public then i would suggest to add the public in the url in the document root so we have added that and let's try the same things here let's open app dot restroflow dot in so here we can see we are getting the error of the php version is lower so let's in change the php version of subdomains wildcard subdomain but we are getting something on app.restroflow.in that means the wildcard subdomain is at least working and showing something and let me open something random also so as you can see so we are at least getting something and not getting the dns uh, mismatch error so for to resolve this let's go back to the c panel we'll select php multi php and and from here we'll select the wildcard subdomain and from the drop down midpoint 3 
and click apply. Let's reload the, the page and see. It will take some time to take into effect. We'll have to wait. The work should login page. That means if we are getting this page. Let me see the configurations done. It seems I have disabled the front website. Yeah, we, I have disabled it. Let me save it. Let's reload the page again and go back to home page. So here we can see the work suit SaaS application. That means wildcard subdomain is now configured properly. Let me open the another website. So now we are getting the workshop SaaS application. So it means the wildcard subdomain is working fine. We will also cross check this directly on the terminal. We'll open the terminal and ping some random subdomain and see if we are getting any IP. If you are getting this IP, this means the wildcard subdomain is configured. And if you are not able to ping that subdomain, that means wildcard subdomain is not configured on your server. Once this step is done, this is the very important step before installing the subdomain module. So once this step is done, then we can jump on installing the subdomain module. Again, I am repeating our subdomain module do not create subdomains. Subdomains are created by the server. Like in, in this case, I have created wildcard subdomain means we have created unlimited subdomains pointing to the workshop SaaS application. Our subdomain module will only show data depending on the on which or depending on the subdomain it is opened. So let's jump back to the installation part. We'll go to settings, module install. And here click on install and update module, select the subdomain module. And click install. And from here, click on status activate so that the uh, subdomain module gets installed. So now the subdomain module is installed and here you can see the new super admin URL. So this is going to be the new super admin URL. So copy paste and write it down or remember this URL for future references. So once it is installed, let's reload the page and see what we are getting. So we so we are getting company does not exist on this subdomain, which is correct. Let's reload this page also. Here we also we are getting the company does not exist for that URL, which is also correct. So let's open the main website and see if we are able to see. Yeah, so we are able to see the main website on the main root domain. So let's see another in the second part. Suppose we have installed the application. No, let me show you another thing. Companies will go to the company and here we can see we have one company which is installed on demo.resto. Let's open this and see if we are getting the login page of that company. Yeah, we are getting the login page. That means the subdomain is configured. So one more thing, suppose your application is itself installed on some subdomain and the subdomain name says is app.restroflow.in so after installing the subdomain module you will get this error message you simply have to go to the env file let's go to the env file public html and here dot env file and here we will enter here will we enter the main subdomain main application subdomain on which the worksheet sas is running we'll click save and we are good to go. Let's reload this page and see if we are getting the workshop SaaS application. So now our app.restroflow subdomain is the main subdomain where our workshop SaaS application is running and all the other subdomains are, will be the subdomains of the company, which is this one. So I hope everything is clear to you related to the subdomain module. If you still have any query, please write down and our team will respond to that. Thank you.